Hello and welcome back to Reviving Wanderers. Yes, this is where we take Bolton from League One to the Premier League. This is our second season in the Premier League. And again, it's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. We have dropped down, but we've got two games in hand. Um, you can see here we're seventh um, and we're only about two points away from Southampton. But let's have, let, let's have a look, sorry, at the schedule because it has been a bit... On and off. So as you can see, the last game was the one more draw against Tottenham. We then played Aston Villa, beating them 4-0 again. Galbert with the goal. Khalid with his first goal for us and a brace by um, Shrop. Then 2-2 two, two against Southampton. Very difficult game again. It took them the 94th minute for them to score. But it was Shrop and Konologlu with the goal. Then we played Wolves. We really didn't deserve this. But you know what? Well, we had to take it. And you know, it was 2-0 defeat. Played Arsenal again. We played our formation against the bigger boys. And again, it is good. We only lost 1-0. It took them 47 minutes. But again, we just couldn't do anything. Again, the biggest result ever at home. 0-0 against Liverpool. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we have a formation that helps us not get beaten badly against the bigger side. Then again, Bournemouth, a team we should be winning. And it just... We were never in the game, to be honest with you. We lost that 2-0. Sheffield United 1-0. And again, Leeds. This one was very frustrating. You can see we were winning 1-0 with Shrup. And then Igor and Hajorin with the goal. So today is against Watford. It's a very big game. I don't know what's going to happen. So we're going to go with it. We've got Butlin in goal. Mendes, Tariko, Sattar and Holgate as the back four. We have Gilmore and Sadur in the middle. Konoglu, Groffenheis and Vieira and Shaw up front. Groffenheis hasn't been great. We've spent a lot of money on him and he hasn't been good. We've changed his um, his role into a um, in Gorge, I think it's called, um, because as an attacking midfielder, it's just not working for us. So I'm really hoping that he's going to do the job today. He hasn't been good, but you know what? We will put that down as the first season syndrome and him embedded into the into the team but next season he needs to do better otherwise he will be on his way out um like we said the number 10 role just doesn't slightly work in this game um and for us not too bad but Graffenheis needs to do much much better than we expect him to do but anyways ladies and gentlemen let's get straight into this game Bolton versus Watford we need to win this game to get any chance of getting that European spot I think we deserve it but we've been slightly inconsistent which we need to change but let's see, 10 minutes have gone. We can see we've had one shot and none on target. And it's a straight highlight to Watford. And it's a straight header by Holgate. Again, he had time um, to control that. Something I do want FM21 to sort out. When the players have time, especially a defender, they're not going to clear it. They're not going to header it out. They're going to take their time. But, wow, well, just lucky there. Just over the bar. But yeah, something I would like, you know, defender's not going to head you out if no one's there. They're going to take a touch majority of the time. There's something I would like them to change. But we've got a highlight here, and it's a deep free kick. Gruffenheis is going to take this free kick. He plays it straight into the middle of the goal, and there we go. Sadar again, sixth goal of the season. Gruffenheis with the assist from a deep. Better, better, and much better. But let's see what he does when he's on the ball. A dead ball situation, he's got the ability to find someone. But he needs to do that while the ball is moving and while the play is on. But let's see. So far, 1-0, a good result so far. But let's see what we can do. Shop is nervous. Not too sure why he's nervous. But hopefully he changes that during the game. Here we go. We have another highlight into Watford. Shlop is being a bit static up front there. We need him moving up and down a bit. Can we dare yeah, dispossess Gruffenheis with the ball into Shlop? Shlop needs to show them what he can do. Back to Gruffenheis. Gruffenheis keeps on going. He tries to take the shot, but he still has it into the box. There we go. Shlop with his 20th goal of the season, assisted by Gruffenheis. And again, I'm not sure what happens, but it seems that anytime we do have a goal at players, they seem to step up. So maybe that's something we do. We spoke about Shop being nervous, but right there he wasn't nervous, and that's his 20th goal of the season. I'm very, I am very surprised that no one has tried to go in for him. Maybe it's that price tag that's really knocking them off their feet, which is about 108 million. But Holgate dives in, and you don't want to dive in as Tariq Kao with the shot, and lucky for us, it's just over the left hand, the right hand side post. 
Oof, right, so far looking good. Eight, five shots, sorry, two on target. Ruffin Heisen in again with another deep corner. He whips that ball in straight into the keeper's hands. He does not find a man there, which is very poor. And now we're out of position here. We're running back to try and get back into our position. Barker with the ball. He's given us a little bit of time to get back into position. Hopefully we do not foul them. Yes, we block it, but we're not there for the second ball. He gets headed out. Vieira heads it out again. What I spoke about he needs to be composed in that position. Just take a touch and then he can release Shrup for the long pass. But here we see Watford keeping the ball. This wouldn't be too bad for us as long as we're able to get that ball. Aaron's on the right-hand side. Make sure we don't commit. Gets headed in and again 2-1 to Rikau. 21st goal of the season. Somebody we need to watch out for. So let's have a look at the opposition. Um, we have to be very careful for him. So let's um, press him at all times. And let's give him a hard tackle. And weaker four. Um, it's not looking good at the moment, I must say. Um, we need to be very, very careful because we've given them time to get back into the game. It's only 29 minutes have gone. Um, we're going to look at the team instructions because I do want to make a slight change. We're going to focus on both sides and work ball into the box. But what I want to do out of possession is that we've got to go wide because that's where it seems that they gain all their joy. So let's just see how that goes. We are playing slightly deep. Um, which probably is not going to help us, but let's just see how it goes. 33 minutes have gone. Can we have a shout to so far today, the first one, and let's say great creative, and let's see how the boys do. Conor Loglu is not having the best of games. 6.5, he hasn't really been inside this game much, um, but let's hope that that changes. Mendes, he hasn't, he hasn't been great at all. Um, he's lost his man a lot of times, um, and is not on his toes. Um, as you can kind of look through, he's making a lot of mistakes there. And again, 42 minutes. And it's a highlight to Watford. We do not want to come into this second half um, drawing 2 2. Aaron's with the shot just over the bar. And I'm not too sure why we're giving them a lot of space. So we're going to make two substitutions right now. We ain't going to waste time. We're going to put Boone on, on that left hand side. And um, Conor Noglu is unfortunately going to have to come off. We're going to put on Leek. He's going to come on as the inverted winger. And that's it. That's the two substitutions we make. Very, very bold substitution we made there. Again, Holgate hasn't had the best games as well. That is a position that we definitely need to strengthen on the right back position because um, he's doing it all himself, if I'm honest with you. Um, is exactly that. He's doing everything himself. We don't have... A right back really of quality and so Holgate's had to play majority of the season so far but so far we are winning but we need to make sure we continue winning okay Leek's got the ball and again this is what I mean we've just headed it he doesn't need to head it there he gives Aaron's time to try and find someone in that box he passes it into Decore back to look oh what a save by Butland that was a great save by Butland and we expect those types of saves from Butland you know what balance Let's go positive. Right. So it's Phillips with the corner. Can we head this out and create a counter-attack? No, but it's straight into Butlin's hand. What's Butlin going to do right here? Let's see. He's probably going to send it all the way up front. It's a bit of a dodgy kick there. But Schlupp has the ball. Heads it straight into League. Who takes a touch this time is what we need. Gilmer plays a great ball with our right hand. Vieira now. He has time. Can he be his man? He decides to cross it in shot. Oh, I thought that was for sure. Leak with the ball. Can he finish it? He gets tackled. He's still got the ball. Takes the shot. Shot. And he's offside. Right, let's push them up a bit. Yeah, that's a lot more better there. Unlucky for us. Shot is offside. But there's still a lot to play. Okay, we all know that that's the review is going to be over. Oh, come on. He's on side there. He's on side there, ladies and gentlemen. Surely he's on side there. Let me know in the comments below if you think he's on side or not. Personally, for me, I think he's definitely on side. Leak with the free kick on that left hand side. Whips that ball in, but straight into Pickford's hands. We've got to do better with these deliveries. Pickford with the ball now, and this is going to be an attack for Watford. All right. I'm expecting that they're going to score. Midfield hasn't been great. We're going to do a shout soon. 
and definitely demand more. This is Watford's game to lose. I know we are winning, but I just got a feeling that they're going to come back with this. There we go. Trikal with the ball. He keeps on going. He takes the shot. We need to be very, very careful. I'm going to shout and um, we're going to demand more because we need to do better. So does not having the best of games and also Holgate. We could bring in Villegas into that midfielder role uh, and Holgate, both of them is not having the best of games. 56 minutes have gone and I feel like maybe we should go defensive um, the way I'm looking at it now because Watford are having 20 shots so far and 8 on target. That is not what we want. 61 minutes have gone. Um, so that seems to have pushed it up a little bit to 6.5. Um, again, Holgate is still a 6.4, but there ain't really much we can do at the moment. But just hope that we don't make a mistake. A third goal for us would really put us into that driving seat. And we just, what do we do? We give them the ball and uh, I'm not feeling confident about this, ladies and gentlemen. I must say, I do feel that Watford are going to get a goal soon. There we go. Draka with the ball. Can we get the ball off them? Trukau gives him the ball straight back. I don't understand this. Aaron's, he's cuts inside and again, gets beaten by a near post. You can't get beaten by a near post. I said this, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our game to lose. It's that simple. Oh... I said it's going to be our game to lose. And I was right. But Butland should not be getting beaten in his near post. Like, let's look at this. Draka has the ball. Tree count passes it back. Okay, let's cut out the silliness because that's not even... I won't even call it a mistake. It's just... That's just, just stupid. I just think it's stupid. In a game, you, you don't want to be seeing things like that. It's just... It's very silly when you see things like that in a game. It's very unrealistic that a player is going to do something like that. For me, that's very, very stupid. But listen, that's just me clutching at straws. We haven't done much um, and we've given them the space. He still had a chance and, you know, at the end of the day, Butland should not be getting beaten at the near post. There we go. See, we go. Gilmar with the ball into Boone. Boone crosses that ball in. Can we finish it? No, we can't. It hits the post. And again, you know, should be... It's unlucky, it's unlucky, it's unlucky, it's unlucky. Right, Leek with the corner, whips that into the near post, well, into the middle of the goal. Gilmar still with the ball. He's probably going to lose it. And again, Draka's got the ball. This is this is just the story of our season so far. Well, let's show some passion. We've got to do better. We should make another substitution. We don't have a right back. That's the problem. We do not have a right back. Um, Schlupp to make things difficult for us, it's now injured. Well done. Thank you very much for that. Um, Vegas is going to have to come on that right-hand side. And that just says it all. That just speaks volumes of this game. Exactly what they want to do is get us our best player injured. Um, hopefully, it's not a bad one, but 79 minutes, we should be doing better. Should be doing better there. What We should be beating this game. We should be beating... Watford, should I say. Um, right, Holgate with the corner again gets dispossessed. And again, I know what's going to happen. I'm telling you, what is Watford's game to lose? I did say it because I know what's going to happen. It's very, 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 very predictable. And we've just done a lot of things wrong today. Very, I'll be very shocked if we get something out of this game, a win. But I'm still putting us down to lose this game. It's not, it's not good for me to have that idea in my head, but... I know my team well enough to know that they're just, yeah, it's just typical. When you see certain things in the game happen and you can see the goal like that, it's just very obvious that you're bound to lose the game when you see stupidness in a game like that. And again, I really do hope that they change that in FM21. I don't mind players making mistakes, but not mistakes. That is just very, it's unrealistic mistakes. And there we go. We're probably going to get their goal. Oh, lucky they didn't score that. Right, let's have another shout. Let's demand more. Um, we haven't done anything really besides that header that hit the post. But again, it's all been Watford. And again, leak with the ball. We're probably going to make another mistake here. I wouldn't be surprised here. There we go, Butland with the with the ball. Can we start our attack? Let's see. Gilmer on the ball. Leak has the ball on that left hand side. He's cutting in in as a inverted winger. He's probably going to take a shot and yeah, yeah, that's, that's, I don't know. I'm defeated. 
I'm defeated. You could tell um, it's very frustrating, um, I must say, from this game. I felt like we deserve to win this game, bar not the silly mistakes that you've seen in this game. Right, so that's we're looking closer to the end of the game. Unless there's going to be a late minute goal, um, but it's not looking like it. It's two two. Um, I would I have to be hard on them because I think we played poor. Um, it's been terrible in defence. Um, I'm not happy with defensive work. It's that simple. And then the rest is history. Right, so that's the end of today's episode. Um, we are going to be looking to play a lot offline because. As we know, um, FM21 will be coming out quite soon. So we're trying to do as much as we can in a short period of time. So let's have a look at the schedule. We did play a lot offline. Um, more than likely, uh, we'll probably come back for the end of the game of the season. So, sorry, the, se the last game of the season, should I say. Um, and we just have a look. But let's just see how long Schlupp is out for. Two, one to two days. Okay, that's not too, man, too, too bad. Sorry. But again, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the result I wanted. Again, FM21, please sort out those mistakes. We don't want to be seeing unrealistic mistakes there. But that's just me being frustrated. But I believe I'm saying what I'm saying is right. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. This is Football Manager Maniac. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Hit that thumbs up and notification bell. And also hit those comments below. Let me know what you think about that offside. Do you think he was offside? And what do you think about those mistakes that we made? Um, but without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much and bye.